remedies must include the restoration of David Bowles and others' titles which were necessary to the natural elite inside the United States from the military's secret estimate conducted and compounded before uh, the characters were established in any formal component. So this is going to establish Don Sr. Bowles as one of the necessary components of when they would have started planning the implementation of their terrorist coup in the jurisdiction of when the time of the case starts and thus when the expectation of law under the time of the case starts not being allowed their acts of terrorist force or expo facto, which was necessary to the component of their insurrection against the Americans, would not by their definition have actually overcome into the position with David Bowles character from the military estimate. Now the engagement of the character would have started his own country and separated as a teenager without any obstructions, which would have prevented them from being able to claim that he was interfering at any junction in their civil war beyond the engagement of the security obligations, such as was developed to stop 9-11 and others from their estimates when the investors would come in and compound their potential profits to generate these businesses, the security contracts would have been developed and those security contracts stopping 9-11 and others not willing to listen to the character from the record claiming to be Mattis would not have been able to have convinced David's character to shut off the security for 9-11, preventing it from happening, fundamentally changing the nature of the war on terror, including but not limited to the function of not allowing the Patriot Act and other acts of usurpation against the American public so that it becomes a defense against terrorism as opposed to a list of illegal policies as well as illegal wars to the functionality of excusing the insurrectionist criminal intent. Now, when we pursue this idea, you understand that the development of David's education as a character to the maturity of the exercise of all of his contracts overlap into each other from the function of his school compelling the com uh, written reports which were necessary to the management of the companies which would be exercised to the normal employees now, all of this is necessary to understand for their argument that David would have interfered with California's act of treason to overthrow the other states because he's not there as a character at the time. He's not interested in the American system at the time. And if the Americans choose to die because they have no spine and are worthless cowards, good for nothing, and wish to be dismantled and overthrown by their inferiors, then that's a different argument. An argument that a foreign jurisdiction has no true interest in beyond their base agreements. Facilitating the obligation of the connection of the security contract with that position, which would compel David's character to make the verbal arguments and condemnations of the terrorists but ultimately has no real authority over the willingness of the Americans to exist as American. If they wish to die, there is no security contract against suicide, at which point it's irrelevant. Now, the engagement of these is necessary to understand because California's civil war is a pawn in the Nazi war on David. Now, the Nazi war on David is based upon the idea that the character for David Bowles is in exponential security mechanisms that they cannot legally or normally overcome without their acts of criminal force. Now, their engagement of criminal force does include the net agenda in the war on terror being 
the way that they chose as opposed to the way that they estimated it would have in a state of nature, such as the defense against terrorism, primarily of Israel in the Middle East, which functions as a heightened security mechanism of their cooperation with the United States as a defensive mechanism, preventing the engagement of them to be able to be defamed on the international affairs because these are primarily American policies being enforced in the war on terror as opposed to Israeli defense. So the international community would not be able to condemn Israel for being engaged in the security that the United States is responsible for, which takes over many of the functions the international community prefers to complain about, which would no longer complain or would default to the Americans. Now, the engagement of these security contracts are difficult for the Nazis who want to destroy them because David's security as a character would prohibit it through the mechanism of vetting out the double agents and many others, which I cannot go into detail without revealing enough secrets as to give them the latitude for the planned extermination. Now the engagement of this planned extermination facilitates their war against Israel. Now, Lindsey Graham's policy, which he had been holding on the back burners to make the use of criminal force against people suspected not guilty of violating American interests. Now, American interest is the nation of law and not the government interest. Now, the government interest held by the parasite of the Nazis makes it the Nazi interest, not the American interest. Now, with that confusion, settled, you engage in the position to go to war with Israel and then suspect the Jews of defending Israel and then suspect the church and others of defending the Jews or Israel, at which point this defense of Israel compels a Nazi hit list or kill list with their exponential surveillance powers, helped ironically and many others by the functionality of Israel's alliance with the United States in co-opting the Nazi insurrectionists with surveillance capabilities beyond the tech developed by the devil agents. Now, the supplement of this engagement allows for the full extermination of Jews on maturity, at which point you have the development of their position. Now, they can, with David's character, do one of two things. They can destroy him or they can promote him. But if they promote him, he has to satisfy their agenda as is natural to his status, which means he would, as a character, be their leader. And as a character being their leader, would have to enforce their desired policies, which are not restrained to law. They are Nazis. They are Satanists. They have no morals. They have no standards. They are undisciplined cowards. And everything they do reflects that fact. Now, when you thoroughly understand who it is you are actually dealing with, one of you talk with these insurrectionists, gives you the position that they will never tell you the truth. Everything they do is lies. Their father is lies and their master is lies. They worship death and sorcery, and they deserve to be imprisoned and executed for their crimes and planned crimes against America, its allies, and the world at large.